everyone, my name is Mrs Blitzer and among many other things I'm reading coordinator at High Coast Junior School alongside Miss Kavanagh. Hello. Just want to talk to you a little bit about um, reading in year three and in the junior school. Um, obviously this year reading looks very different at this very moment. We're not allowed to send reading books home at the moment. Um, we have no guidelines yet of what September is going to look like. There may be initially more of an emphasis on home reading books but obviously I'll keep you posted I'm hoping that that won't be very long um, we have I've been working really closely with the infant schools and looking at phonics and where your children left um, I've got um, my plan is that we carry on with the phonics from where the children finished so I've got individual um, phonics phases that your child has been on and we will intend to pick them up when they get to um, the junior school. All phonics lessons will be done in the classroom um, by their class teacher. With reading at the junior school we encourage children to read every night. We ask them to read for at least 10 minutes every night. Each child will be given a reading diary and we ask you to just sign it every night when they've read. We're not asking for comments unless you want to, your signature is, is fine just to put in there. We do ask that they do this though because there's a class and a whole school reward for read, uh, reading. We can't give them a point towards that reading reward unless they've got your signature in their book. So please can we just keep up on that in September for the children. We also do something called um, AR and I'm going to pass you over to Miss Kavanagh who's going to talk to you about that. Okay, so AR is something every child within the junior school um, is able to do. So the children will have the opportunity to do a star test every term. So altogether that makes six. Within this star test, they're then given a reading aid. And that reading aid is, could be something like 1.2 to 3.7. The children can therefore read any book that is between that, that age, that ZPD. Once the children have managed to complete that book, what they do is they have the opportunity to quiz on the pro a programme called AR. Now, at the moment, the children are able to do this at home. However, from September, when the children are back in school, that will only be something they can do in school during the mornings, um, at break times and lunch time, uh, down to the discretion of their teacher. Once the children have um, quizzed, we would like them to achieve at least 85% in order to pass that quiz. If they do achieve that, they are able to move up an AR target board and then once they've reached their target, um, depending on where it is through the year, the teacher would then hire that target for that child to then try to achieve again. Um, if the children do um, manage to reach their target five times out of six in the six terms, they again are put into a reward, which is decided by myself and Mrs Blissett. Um, and it's usually something that is really fun. So we do look forward to, um, to doing that with you. Uh, I can't do anything else with AR today. No, it's really no. exciting. It is really I exciting. It. Um, and uh, we also do um, reading skills lessons throughout the curriculum. Um, they're based on looking at a book, looking at extracts of the book. We follow different reading skills. We also work on fluency with that. So we model good reading, good fluency, good expression. And then the children have um, an opportunity to practice that reading um, for themselves or with a partner. We also look at specific reading skills that we unpick paragraph by paragraph. And through all this, they get to read a whole book. Um, we also, reading obviously is everywhere throughout the whole curriculum. So there's opportunities linked in with every subject area that they will be exposed to new vocabulary, opportunities to read, opportunities to hear reading. If your child has been identified as someone that needs um, an intervention, we will talk to you about the um, specific intervention that your child will be on when they get to the school in September. As um, Ms Tavernis said, we do AR reading, so we don't follow the um, coloured band books that they do in the infants. However, the AR books are specifically designed for the age that your child is on, the reading age that your child's on. So although it's not a book band, it is specifically designed um, for that age group. 
Um, so we look forward to reading. We, we get really excited for reading in the um, junior school. We do run lots of school level um, competitions. We usually do a fantastic World Book Day where the whole day is dedicated to reading. Um, and we look forward to hearing your children read in September. Thank you very much.